Madara was born during the Warring States period and was the eldest of Tajima Uchiha's five children. Madara and his siblings grew up on the battlefield waging constant war with the Uchiha's rivals. Basenju, three of his siblings died young, leaving Madara with only his younger brother, Izuna. Madara and Izuna became very close through their shared loss and constantly competed with each other to get stronger. This combined with his naturally strong chakra enabled the young Madara to defeat adult Senju in battle and develop a reputation as a genius. During his infrequent downtime, Madara made a boy his own age named Hashirama. The two quickly developed a friendly rivalry, be it skipping stones or urinating in rivers. Like Madara, Hashirama was also a shinobi who had lost his brothers on the battlefield. Together they imagined a world where children like themselves wouldn't need to fight. As a precaution, Madara and Hashirama did not divulge their family names, but nevertheless discovered each other's identities. Madara was an Uchiha, Hashirama was a Senju. It was their duty to kill each other, even if they were friends. Needing to choose between his family and his dreams of peace, Madara chose to end his friendship with Hashirama so he would have no reservations over killing him in the future, a resolve strong enough to awaken his sharing end. Over the following years, Madara and Hashirama continued to meet in combat. Madara could never defeat Hashirama, even after acquiring a Menjikyo Sharingan, and Hashirama could never bring himself to kill someone. He still considered a friend, resulting in a constant stalemate between the two that lasted decades. In time, both Madara and Hashirama became leaders of their respective clans, a position Hashirama tried to use to broker peace between them. Although some Uchiha found the offer increasingly tempting, Madara refused due to Izuna's death at the hands of Hashirama's own brother, Tobirama Senju. Despite this, some Uchiha defected over to the Senju clan out of self-preservation. Madara then used Izuna's eyes in order to gain eternal Mankekyo Sharingan and restore his deteriorating vision. With this new power, he waged one final assault against the Senju and was summarily defeated. Rather than kill Madara to bring the era of war to an end, Hashirama offered to kill himself if it would stop the fighting. Madara was moved by Hashirama's gesture and finally assented to peace. The Senju, the Uchiha, and all their affiliated clans came together to found a village of peace where children would never need to die in battle. Madara and Hashirama rekindled their childhood friendship, and Madara named that village Konohagakir, seeing it through leaves. But Madara's idea of peace differed from Hashirama's, where Hashirama envisioned cooperation with the other newly formed villages. Madara desired control so the peace could never be lost, evidenced by his attacking Iwagakuri's Mu and Onoki so that they would submit to Konoha's authority. When Hashirama was elected as Hokage, Kanoha's leader Madara also became concerned for the Uchiha's future, believing this to be but the first step in the Senju's dominance. The stone tablet Zetsu altered had been in the Uchiha's possession for generations and was brought with them when they settled in Kanoha. Through careful study, Madara was able to decipher enough of it to learn of the history of Shinobi, of the endless cycle of failed peace and the destiny of battle between Uchiha and Senju, but also a means of unity for the world. With this knowledge, Madara decided Konoha was a failed experiment. He tried to convince his own clan and even Hashirama of the same conclusion, but none would hear him. Madara chose to abandon the village, attacking Konoha on multiple occasions, later returning with the nine-tailed demon fox under his control to challenge Hashirama. They fought to exhaustion, and from the carnage of their battle, the Valley of the End was formed. In the end, Madara was killed by Hashirama. News of Madara's death spread fast and his corpse was secretly hidden to keep anyone from finding it and profiting from it. But Madara had planned ahead. He had scheduled an Izanagi to activate sometime after his death, changing reality to bring him back to life in exchange for his right eye's vision. Meanwhile, Black Zetsuyu had spent an unspecific length of time hiding itself inside of Madara's body, allowing it to later deceive Madara into thinking he created it. After being revived, he left a copy in place of his real body and went into hiding with a special trophy from his fight with Hashirama, a mouthful of Hashirama's flesh that he transplanted into his wounds. It was not until decades later, towards the end of Madara's natural life, that the cells had any effect, awakening the Rinnegan. With the Rinnegan, he was able to summon the demonic statue of the Outer Path, which he used to cultivate a mindless living clone of Hashirama from which he believed he had produced a white Zetsu army. Over the years, Madara had perfected his plans for peace in what he called the Eye of the Moon plan. But as his years waned, Madara knew he couldn't complete his plans in the time he had left. So he transplanted his Rinnegan into a young Nakadio without the boys knowing intending Nagato to someday use the eyes to restore Madara to life. If Nagato was to do this, however, Madara would need an agent to act on his behalf and guide Nagato towards this ultimate goal. Madara waited, connecting himself to demonic statue to keep him alive until someone could be found. 
Madara spent this time keeping a close eye on Konoha to find a suitable pawn to take his place. During the Third Shinobi World War, Madara found a badly injured Obito. Madara used Hashirama's cells to replace Obito's damaged extremities and placed a forbidden individual curse tag in Obito's heart as a fail-safe in case Obito ever turned against him. Until then, Madara began working towards corrupting Obito. He had Kirigakure kidnap the girl Obito loved, Rain Nohara, and seal the Three Tails into her. He then manipulated events so that Rain would die at the hand of Obito's friend, Takashi Hataki, while Obito watched. Driven to despair, Obito offered his services to Madara. Madara divulged to Obito the history of the Sage of the Six Paths and the Ten Tails, the details of his Eye of the Moon plan, and various techniques that Obito would need moving forward. As a final act, he left behind Black Zetsu, what he believed to be a manifestation of his will, to provide additional guidance to Obito in pursuit of this goal. With that, Madara disconnected from the demonic statue, and with his dying breath, entrusted Obito with his name, Madara Uchiha.